headlines of this morning. The long U.S. war in Afghanistan has come to an end. The last American troops have left the country, keeping one of President Biden's campaign promises, but leaving that nation to a very uncertain fate. CBS News' John Diaz joins us live here in the studio with more. John. Good morning to both of you. Well, the head of the U.S. Essential Command says that every single U.S. service member is out of Afghanistan, but federal officials say many Americans and at-risk Afghans were unable to evacuate. However, this morning, they still remain committed to getting them out. He's the last U.S. soldier to leave. Major General Chris Donahue shown in this photo moments before boarding the final cargo plane that would depart Afghanistan. Gunfire erupted in the streets of Kabul in celebration of the U.S. departure. After 20 years of war, the Taliban are back in full control of the country. The final American flight lifted off from Kabul airport just after midnight local time. In the closing hours of the evacuation, military aircraft had to shoot off flares to prevent potential rocket attacks. More than 123,000 people have been safely flown out of Afghanistan. That includes about 6,000 American citizens. But despite what's being called the largest airlift in U.S. history, the State Department says more than 100 Americans and likely thousands of Afghans were left behind. The Biden administration says it will hold the Taliban to its word that they will provide them safe passage out. We did not get everybody out that we wanted to get out. But I think if we'd stayed another 10 days, Louis, we wouldn't have gotten everybody out that we wanted to get out. The head of the U.S. Central Command, General Kenneth McKenzie, says it's the end of a bloody and costly war. It's a mission that brought Osama bin Laden to a just end, and it was not a cheap mission. The cost was 2,461 U.S. service members and civilians killed and more than 20,000 who were injured. The president honored the 13 service members killed in a terror attack in Kabul and grieved with family members at Dover Air Force Base. Now, the Pentagon says that U.S. forces demilitarized billions of dollars worth of military equipment left behind, including vehicles and aircraft. President Joe Biden is expected to address the nation sometime today to explain why he did not extend the mission's deadline. Live in the studio this morning, John Diaz, CBS 2 News. John, thank you.